Life of Pi, Summaries of Chapters 5-7. through seven. Pi says, those we meet can change us, even our names. Piscin, Molitor, Patel. Pai's name made him feel persecuted like early Christians were persecuted and like Muhammad was persecuted in Mecca. Pai had a plan, though. When he was 12, he realized that the following year he would be leaving St. Joseph's to go to a new school, Petit Seminaire. It was a private secondary school. Pai put his plan into action on his first day at the new school. All of the classes were taught in English. Each student was required to state his name. When it was Pi's turn, he quickly stood up and went to the blackboard. He grabbed a piece of chalk and wrote, My name is Piscine Molitor Patel, known to all as Pi Patel. Pi equals 3.14. And then he drew a circle with a line through it to show the diameter. Pi began each of his classes the same way. Pi's plan worked. Everyone called him Pi, even those who had known him before. The adult Pi says... I found refuge in that elusive, irrational number with which scientists try to understand the universe. Chapter 6 contains the author's observations about pie as a good cook. Pie makes Canadian, Indian, and Mexican food equally well. Pie keeps his cupboards full of food, enough to last the siege of Leningrad. Chapter 7 begins with Pie remembering his luck at having had a few good teachers who came into his dark head and lit a match. Mr. Satish Kumar was a biology teacher, a communist, and an atheist. Pai learned of Mr. Kumar's atheism when his teacher came one day to visit the zoo. Mr. Kumar also told Pai that politicians could learn from the zoo's goats, which lived in harmony with rhinos. Pai told Mr. Kumar, religion will save us. That was when Mr. Kumar told Pai that he did not believe in religion. Mr. Kumar said, religion is darkness. Pai was shocked because he thought religion was light. Mr. Kumar said science, experience, and intellect would show that religion was superstition. Mr. Kumar said that when he was a boy, he had suffered from polio. He had prayed, but God had not saved him. Medicine had saved him. Mr. Kumar said, reason is my prophet, and it tells me that as a watch stops, so we die. Pai did not want to hear more. What if Mr. Kumar's words were as strong as polio and could kill God in a man? Years later, at a Canadian college, Pai studied zoology and felt close to Mr. Kumar, his favorite teacher. Pai saw Mr. Kumar as a man of faith. Pai says, atheists go as far as the legs of reason will carry them, and then they leap. Atheists don't annoy Pai, but agnostics, those who don't know whether or not God exists, do. Pai says, to choose doubt as a way of life is akin to choosing immobility as a means of transportation.